Yes, good morning, guys, to all of you. I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is Baiju's Exam Prep. So please tell me, am I properly audible and visible to all of you or not? Then we are starting the session. Okay. Okay, guys. So as I already told you that, guys, we are going through the PYQ series. So today we are going to have this session related to the production technology, which is also known as manufacturing, as you know, with respect to mechanical engineering, both are same only. So guys, uh, today we are going to solve the questions related to material size, related to welding and related to casting. So today we will be covering questions related to these three topics from gate 2018 to 23 last five years okay this is what we are going to solve okay this is 18 to 23 okay moving further guys this is some detail about me my name is Dheera Sardana those who are watching me for the first time and these are my areas of interest and today's discussion is on production technology moving further guys so, first of all, we will be having question from engineering materials or material size. So, guys, this is the very first question. Yes. So, this question is the number of atoms per unit cell. The number of atoms per unit cell and the number of slip system respectively for a face centered cubic crystal R. So, they have given us FCC. So, first we will see the question on material size. After material size, we will be entering into the welding technology and after welding, we will be entering into the casting. So, these three topics today we will cover. Okay. So, when we are talking about the FCC structure, I feel everybody would be aware that when we are talking about FCC, we are having six corner atoms. We are having six or eight, sorry, eight corner atoms. We are having eight corner atoms, six face center atoms and zero body centered atom and if you remember the formula for average number of atoms that is corner atoms by 8 plus nf by 2 plus ni by 1 this is the formula when you will apply this formula you know 8 corner atoms so 8 by 8 then 6 face center atoms 6 by 2 then plus 0 so my dear what you will get you will get here 4 okay some answers are been there wonderful so guys yes 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 arunita no one yes the answer is c for this c is the right answer so you can see this is coming out to be four and slip systems are 12 very good very good so moving to the next question guys very good this is okay this question was from crystal structure this question was from crystal structure and now the next question is going to be from which Yes, iron carbon diagram. They are asking about which reaction is eutectoid reaction. If you remember in eutectoid reaction, gamma is converted into alpha plus cementite. This is the reaction, eutectoid. Eutectoid composition is there for the steel. Eutectic is for the cast iron. So please tell me what is going to be right answer. Wonderful guys, wonderful. Wonderful. So what would be the answer for this? I have written the reaction in front of you. This is going to be the reaction. This is the reaction which is said to be eutectoid reaction. So you know that in eutectic we are having the cast iron. What is eutectic reaction? Eutectic is going to give you a liquid is going to convert into two solids. That is said to be eutectic reaction. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So answer for this is going to be my dear, this is A, where you are having gamma austenite, which is once again a metal one, which is going to be converted, M4 solid, solid one, going to be converted into alpha plus Fe3C, which is a, a, once again M2 and M3. So you can see one solid is converted into two solids. So answer is going to be A for this. So moving further to the next question, wonderful guys. This question is from heat treatment, harder ability of the steel. 
hard durability of the steel is a measure of the maximum hardness that can be obtained when it is austenized and then quenched thereby dear the depth to which required hardening is obtained when it is austenized and then quenched the ability to harden when it is cold worked the ability to retain its hardness when it is heated to elevated temperature which is going to be hardenability in this yes tell me what is going to be the answer for this the maximum hardness that can be obtained when it is austenized and quenched or it is the depth to which required hardening is obtained when it is austenized and quenched c is the ability to harden when it is cold worked anyone please tell me so guys if you see about hardenability we have studied a test known as jomini jomini hardenability test okay we have done jomini hardenability test so if you remember there what we were doing yes very good so guys there what we were doing actually we were just hardening the surface by passing first of all heat from that and then cool from that after that we were looking at which surface is getting more depth of hardness the surface which is getting more depth of hardness we call it a, to be having more hardenability so answer will be b for this don't worry you may be not aware of these terms more because this is the topic which generally students are leaving because of low weightage so that's fine answer is b this is the direct question from the phase diagrams lever rule this is the direct question from the phase diagram lever rule okay lever rule you can see the binary phase diagram of metal p and q metal p and q is shown in the figure an alloy x containing 60% p 40% q okay so this is saying one alloy is given this is the alloy i feel so okay this is the alloy which is 60% a 40% b is cooled from liquid to solid state the friction of solid and liquid at 1250 degree celsius yes friction of liquid and solid so you need to tell how much solid and how much liquid so this is the element given this is the temperature given so you know that this is going to be liquid this is going to be the solid so if you want to write down the amount of liquid if you want to write down the amount of liquid amount of liquid you know how lever rule is applied when we are talking about amount of liquid yes arunita when we are talking about the amount of liquid you know that we will be writing this gap divided by total length it is following the shortcut of strength of material so you will be let us say this is f so you will write here fs by ls what is fs 40 to 68 okay 68 minus 40 and what is total 68 minus 32 so you will be getting the amount of liquid and you need to find out the fraction of solid and liquid so when you will get it this is going to be 68 minus 40 is 28 68 minus 32 is 36 so when you will be going for 100 to get the percentage okay so what you will get from here 32 or 68 so when we are going to solve it we are going to get for liquid as around 77.8 77.8% so if that much is liquid then solid is going to be what solid is going to be 100 minus 77.8 so answer will be 22.2 solid is 22.2 so liquid to solid the fraction of solid and liquid this much is solid, this much is liquid. C is the right answer. Very good, no one. Very good, guys. Wonderful. Nicely, you guys are going. Motivational Deepak, very good. So, answer is going to be C for this. Now, my dear, this question is the crystal structure of iron. Crystal structure of iron in the austenitic phase. Crystal structure of iron in the austenitic phase. Let us see how many of you know that. This question have been asked in ISRO also. When we are talking about iron, iron shows two types of structure, either BCC or FCC. So first of all, HCP is wrong, BCT is wrong. So either C or D will be the answer. 
then it is bcc where it is ferrite alpha or delta it is fcc where it is gaba or steroid okay so answer will be fcc for this and you know this happens this happens from 910 to 1450 degree celsius and other than this range you are going to have it either alpha or delta is it clear for everyone so this is going to be the answer very good guys moving further to the next question this is match the following from which once again from the same chapter what is the name of this chapter once again you are going to have this as heat treatment heat treatment is very 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 important topic okay so guys here we are having some terms like tempering quenching and healing and normalizing hair strengthening toughening hardening and softening so my dear which of the following match the following so tempering quenching normalizing and healing yes try to solve it i feel quenching is used for the hardening purpose q is 3 q is 3 q is 3 c cannot be the right answer then my dear if you see others option annealing is used for the softening purpose r4 okay only d is the correct p is going to be matched with 2 normalizing is going to be matched with the 1 is it clear so answer for this special word will be d not a Okay, what is A? R is saying 2. Annealing with toughness. No. And normalizing with strength. Okay, it is fine. D is the right answer for this. Okay. Okay. Is it clear for everyone? Moving further, guys. Yes, moving further. Yes, Pajal word. What will be the answer for this question? Which one of the following statement about a phase diagram is incorrect? This time you need to tell the incorrect statement. It gives information on transformation rates. Solid solubility limits are depicted by it. Relative amount of different phases can be found under given equilibrium condition. It indicates the temperature at which different phases start to melt. What would be the right answer for this? This is a direct question on the phase diagram. You can see in the previous years, major questions are coming from the phase diagram topic. Majority of them. And if you see before 2018, you will hardly find the question on this topic. Okay, no one is saying the answer to be B for this. What about others? Arunita, no one. Pajal word, miscellaneous, okay, motivational Deepak, Deepak is saying C. So my dear, first of all, I would like to tell you that there is one diagram called as triple T diagram, other is known as iron carbide, iron iron carbide diagram. If you compare with these two diagrams, first of all, always remember, this is the equilibrium diagram. And here we are showing the transformations. Because tem transformation, temperature, time is the name of triple T. So here we are talking about the transformation. And we are going to talk about transformation rates. So if you see transformation word that is going to be here. So first of all, this is not related to the iron carbide diagram. So obviously this is going to be the answer. Then my dear, we are talking about equilibrium. This is going to be related with the iron carbon diagram. Okay, it indicates the temperature at which, yes, when we are talking about the phase diagram, they tell us that which temperature you will start melting, which temperature you will start, because whenever you are going to make the phase diagram, let us say you are having this. So this is telling us now that at this percentage, this is going to be the temperature. So that is why we are getting the temperature information, solubility information, and all these things from the uh, 
आयरन कार्बन डायग्राम बिकॉज बाई लुकिंग एट दैट यू आर गोइंग टू टेल अस दैट एल्फा इज सोल्यूबल एट विच परसेंटेज गाबा इज सोल्यूबल एट विच परसेंटेज सो ऑब्वियसली दंसर फॉर दिस इज गोइंग टू बी ए सो इट शोज दैट यू नीड मटीरियल साइज मोर प्रैक्टिस नो इशूज मटीरियल साइज इज अबाउट टू कंप्लीट दैन वेल्डिंग कास्टिंग विल कम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गाइज इज दिस the size distribution of the powder particles used in powder metallurgy process can be determined by laser scattering laser penetration laser absorption or laser reflection what will be the answer for this one yes this is question number 8 okay so this is for powder metallurgy yes anyone Arunita, motivational Deepak, no one, Pajal Ward. After this, one more question. Then we will start welding and then casting. This is the sequence of today's session. We will be having one hour session today, one hour session tomorrow. Tomorrow we will go for metal forming, metal cutting. Yes. Answer for this is A. Laser scattering. I know that these things you may not be aware of. The cast iron which process which possesses all the carbon in the combined form as cementite is known as that is white cast iron. Okay, so white cast iron consists of everything in the form of cementite. Okay, yes. So guys, this is material size. Now we will see welding question once again. We will come back to the casting. This is the very first question from the welding. Very good, Ar Arunita. So now we are having the welding questions. After welding, we will go back to the casting. Question number one. Here they are asking you that diagram is given. Which type of weld it is? Is it groove, spot, fillet, or plug? Yes. Okay. No one he is saying C. Arunita is saying C. Yes, fillet is correct. This is the fillet weld. Very good, guys. Next is related to the numerical guys. Numerical on welding, very very famous. A welding operation is being performed with voltage of thirty volt. Okay, it's fine. Current of hundred amperes. The cross section area of the weld twenty mm square. The workpiece and fillet are of titanium for which the specific energy is fourteen joule per mm cube. Assume the thermal efficiency of the welding. Okay, seventy percent. The welding speed you need to find out. So, my dear, first of all, I would like to tell you that here you need to find out welding speed. First of all, when you will be multiplying u into area into velocity, you know this is joule per mm cube into mm square into mm per second. This will give you joule per second, and that is the energy required. Energy required can be written as efficiency time energy generated. Okay, so this is also joule per second. So you just need to find out V. All other things are given to us. This type of question they are asking again, 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 and again. So just solve it. Formula is there in front of you. And guys, do like the session. Like the session. Share the session. Okay, soon we will be coming up more useful sessions for you. Just try to solve it and give the velocity value. Yes, yes, yes. Very simple question. Formula is in front of you. If you want the formula for welding speed, it is efficiency voltage current divided by specific energy area into velocity. Sorry. Area. So you will say seventy percent efficiency, thirty volt, hundred amperes. Specific energy is fourteen. Area is twenty. What will be the answer? 
ओके सेवन पॉइंट फाइव यू आर से सेवन पॉइंट फाइव इज करेक्ट वेरी गुड नो वन सेवन पॉइंट फाइव इज करेक्ट गाइस नेक्स्ट टॉप नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वेल्डिंग मेथड प्रोवाइड्स द हाइएस्ट हीट फ्लक्स रिमेंबर हाइएस्ट हीट फ्लक्स हाइएस्ट हीट फ्लक्स वेन वी से फ्लक्स मीन्स पर यूनिट एरिया हाइएस्ट हीट फ्लक्स रिमेंबर टेम्परेचर इज मैक्सिम इन प्लाज्मा आर्क वेल्डिंग टेम्परेचर इज हाइएस्ट एयर बिकॉज टेम्परेचर इज इन द रेंज ऑफ एट थाउजेंड टू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड डिग्री सेल्सियस दैट इज द टेम्परेचर ऑफ प्लाज्मा बट दे आर आस्किंग अबाउट हीट फ्लक्स नो टेम्परेचर Heat flux is found to be more in laser beam welding. Okay, laser beam welding. I know that this type, this type of question, students have confusion. So if you talk about temperature, then plasma arc welding. Otherwise, you will be having highest heat flux in the laser beam welding. And all other thing, this TIG, they are of the same type. This gas welding is not having very much high temperature or heat. Okay, because laser beam welding is used for super alloys, like you know. Uh, cobalt okay super alloy stainless steels you are using that moving to the next question guys moving to the next question so we have seen three question on the welding this is the fourth one a gas tungsten arc welding operation is performed using a current using a current of 250 amperes pagel word are you there or not Guys, be regular. Two fifty amperes. Arc voltage of twenty volts. We are going to have welding speed. Five mm per second. Assuming that the arc efficiency is seventy percent. It is very much similar question. The previous one. The net heat input. Okay. This time they are asking heat input. Heat input in kilojoule per mm. So this time the formula is efficiency into voltage into current. This will give you joule per second divided by velocity of welding. Okay, this is the way you will get the answer in kilojoule per mm. Okay, first of all you need to convert. Okay, Vinod Reddy is there. Seven hundred Vinod is saying the answer. Okay, we know you are saying seven hundred. Please check it again because answer is required in kilojoule per mm. You may be telling us in joule per mm. For kilojoule, you need to divide it by one thousand. Yes, no one. It is point seven kilojoule per mm. Wonderful guys, wonderful. Point seven is going to be the right answer. Very good. So shall we move on to the next question? Arunita Pajal got it. Moving to the next question, guys. This is once again. This is once again theory question from welding. It is saying two plates each of six mm thickness are to be butt welded. Consider the following processes and select the correct sequence in increasing order of size of heat affected zone. So you need to see the size of heat affected zone. Arc welding, MIG, laser beam welding, and submerged arc welding. Yes. What will be the sequence? I would like to tell you here, if you see this arc welding, they are talking about shielded metal arc welding. This is the normal, the very first type of arc welding process. Then submerged arc welding is an improvement. It is a continuous welding process. So it is obvious that submerged arc welding is better than this arc welding. So it means four will be having. Four will be having 
less heat affected zone than one. Okay, so increasing order means one will be coming at the last, four will be coming in the starting. Then my dear, if we compare laser beam welding, it is the very high speed welding. So when it is high speed welding, you guys are aware that if speed of the welding is more, then my dear, you will be having less heat affected zone. Because when electrode will be staying for lesser time at one place, it will be going fastly. It will not be able to penetrate the heat into more depth or more width. So you can say laser beam welding will be having the minimum, minimum, minimum heat affected zone. Then MIG, MIG is improved process. After that submerged arc welding, then shielded, uh, shielded metal arc welding. So answer will be LBW, MIG, SAW. So the answer will be for this is going to be, uh, this is LBW is at third number. So three, two, four, one. B is the right answer. Very good. Very good, guys. I feel motivational Deepak and no one and Vinod have given the right answer. Arunita, you got it. Moving to the next. So, First, I compared these two because these two are the arc welding process. This is also arc welding. If you compare these three, MIG is the super special. Okay, that is how the things are going to be. Moving to the next question, once again, resistance welding. Once again, resistance welding. The resistance sport welding of two 1.55 mm thick metal sheets is performed using welding current of 10,000 ampere for this much time. Contact resistance is this much, volume of nugget is this, the thermal efficiency of the process is. So you know what is heat generation? Heat generation is I square RT. What is heat required? Heat required is going to be, this is the nugget 70 mm cube and they have mentioned it. The volume of weld nugget formed after welding is 70 mm cube. Okay, so that they have given. So, the thermal efficiency of the welding process. Yes, the thermal efficiency of the welding process. The contact resistance of the interface of the metal sheet is 0 0.0001. Yes, I feel here something is missing in the statement. Let me see. Something is missing, I feel. Okay, it is mentioned that, assume that heat required for, okay, just, just wait. Okay, it is mentioned that heat required is 12 joule per mm cube because without this we cannot solve the question. This is mentioned in the statement. By mistake it is missing. Now I feel you can solve it. Now you know heat required is this into this. Very easy. 12 joule per mm cube into 70 mm cube. So you just need to find out efficiency that is heat required by heat generation. That will be the efficiency. Solve it guys. Solve it, solve it, solve it. Solve it, solve it guys. What will be the answer for this? You know that I square RT will be heat generation. 10,000 ka square. 0 0.0001 is the resistance. Time is nothing but 0 0.25 seconds. Then my dear heat required is. 12 into 70. Okay. Dear, I feel uh, 33.6 is correct. 
33.6 percent is correct because you will get this ratio as 0.336. So percentage wise you will multiply it with 100 and 33.6 is correct. Very good Vinod. Yes, Arunita, very good no one. Deepak, got it? Yes, moving further. Next question is once again from the resistance welding only. Next question says a sport welding operation performed on two pieces of steel yielding a nugget with a diameter of 5 mm and thickness 1 mm. The welding time was 0.1 second and melting energy for the steel is 20 joule per mm cube. Assuming the heat conversion efficiency is 10 percent. The power required for performing the sport welding operation is that is opposite to the previous question. First of all, you will find out the heat required. It is going to be 20 joule per mm cube into volume of nugget. Volume of nugget is pi by 4 d ka square into h. This will give you heat required. Now you know efficiencies heat required by heat generated. Okay. So heat required by heat generated is given as 0.1. Okay. Then welding time is given to us and you can find out the power. Power is going to be, uh, you will get here the heat. Heat by time you will get as the power. So solve it. You will get it. Here what you will get efficiency is given. You will get heat generation. Then heat generation but a time of welding. This will give you power. Basic question, very basic. Because you know the heat is having the units of joule, this is having the unit of second. So power is joule per second. Solve this question guys. And do like and share the session. Solve it guys, solve it, everyone, after this, we will start the casting questions. Yes. 39.25 kilowatts. 39.25 kilowatts. Okay, no one. So, answer is 39.25. So, guys, with this, we have completed the welding question. Now, we will solve the casting question. Okay, and with that, we will close today's session. This is the production part one. And in production part 2 guys, we will be solving metal forming, metal cutting, metallurgy inspection and computer integrated manufacturing. So in that way, we will complete this into two parts. Okay, no one, I can understand, no issues. For sand casting, a steel rectangular plate with dimension, this a cylindrical riser has to be designed. The height of the riser is equal to its diameter. So height of the riser is equal to diameter of the riser. The total solidification time for the casting is 2 minute in Chivorino law for the estimation of the total solidification time. Exponent to be taken as 2 for a solidification time of 3 minutes in the riser. The diameter of the riser is. So guys you must be aware of solidification time is given as K times volume but a surface area ka whole square. So you need to use the formula to get the answer. Just try this. Solve it. I feel everybody would be able to solve these questions. They are very common type of questions which are coming every time. They are like nothing new type of questions. You need to find out the diameter. They have given you initially the solidification time to be 2 minutes. Volume of the casting is three 
सरफेस एरिया इज यू विल बी गेटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ के फ्रोब हेयर ओके सो वेन यू विल बी गेटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ के फ्रोब हेयर द सेम यू नीड टू यूज for the second solid or you can also directly do solidification type of riser by solidification type of casting okay that way also you can do then kk will get cancel out v by sa of riser v by sa of casting ka square kk will get cancel out okay so in that way you just need to put this value here and for riser as they have mentioned diameter is equals to the height and they are saying steel rectangular plate with this this the height of the riser okay they have mentioned that diameter is equals to height that is generally for the side riser so you will be getting it to be d by 6 ka square divided by whatever you are writing here so the ratio is known to us both the types are given to us this is 2 minutes and previously it is also mentioned 3 minutes so you will be just finding out the diameter by equating it tell me what is the answer you are getting guys showing you the screen yes vinod everybody understand the when height is equals to diameter are bhai what is the volume of this riser you know pi by 4 d square h so d cube surface area is 2 into pi by 4 d square plus pi dh pi d square because h and height are height and diameter are equal so you will get after cancelling of volume surface area is d by 6 ka whole square and here volume by surface area you will calculate with these values so you will get the diameter to be Okay, Deepak is saying eleven point one one. What about others? Yes, we know what is your answer. I feel you need to check it, Deepak, again. Have you kept this value correct? Surface area two times of this plus this plus this, because whenever you have a cubical body, you have six surfaces. so that's why i have written six surface areas there generally students are making the mistake yes we know what is your answer so guys do like and share the session why like percentage is lesser than the attending percentage so you will be getting diameter as 51.84 mm yes arunita are you getting it or not i feel you have done some mistake okay so what we are doing this is the volume of the casting you know riser solidifies after the casting solidification type of casting is 2 minute riser is 3 minute so we are going to have this as 3 by 2 okay 3 by 2 this is 3 by 2 and here you are going to have d by 6 ka square and here this value you have to put so answer will be coming out to be diameter is 51.84 mm got it दीपक विनोद अरुणिता पेजल वर्ड ओके गाइस शेल आई वेट और यू गोट इट
we know that you there or not deepak we know at least best comment i get to know so are you not getting the right answer getting something else okay got it great vinod moving to the next question during solidification of a pure molten during solidification of a pure molten metal the grains in the casting near the mould bowl are during solidification of a pure molten metal the grains in the casting near to the mould bowl are coarse and randomly oriented fine and randomly oriented fine and ordered coarse and ordered yes what will be the answer for this question yes we know this saying b i am telling you it is they are asking you near the mould bowl so you must be aware that mould bowl is mould bowl if you are talking about near to the mould bowls there you would be having the slow cooling rates and when because solidification front are coming from all arounds yes so shall it be fine or coarse it is always randomly oriented whenever we are going to have the solidification during solidification we have random only so either it is a or b depending on the cooling rates yes a or b we know this saying b what about others we know this saying b what about others yes so dear when we are talking about the pure molten metal in case of pure molten metal it is fine to be fine but in general if you are going to have a lot of nucleus to be present in that case you will be getting coarse so my dear there are two types of solidification happening one is said to be layer by layer what is the name of that what is the name of that two types of solidification happens one is dendritic growth dendritic growth what is the name of second one skin forming so when we are going to have the ideal solidification skin forming then my dear we are going to have like this is the cavity solidification fronts are coming from the corners and moving towards the center okay moving towards the center and in the dendritic growth you are going to have everywhere a new nucleus is going to start a new nucleus is getting started new solidification front everywhere so then you get dendritic growth okay so both the case it will be random only so that depends on pure metal you will get skin forming and if you have impure you will get dendritic growth next question guys in a casting process the vertical channel through which molten metal flows downward from pouring basin from pouring basin to the runner so they are asking about what is the name of this passage this is pouring basin this is runner what is the name the name is sprue very good vinod the name is sprue for this and what is this this is sprue base well this is sprue base well sprue is the right answer next is from the welding defects match the following list one list two once you have defects then you have cause very good no one
dear that i already told you the answer is a actually for that okay so blow hole misrun hot tearing and wash poor collapsibility mold erosion poor permeability or insufficient fluidity i feel everybody would be aware that misrun is happening due to insufficient fluidity what is misrun misrun is this defect if molten metal is not capable of filling the cavity this is misrun so misrun is related to insufficient fluidity so q with be matching with 4 q is matching with 4 q is matching with 4 q is matching with 4 c will be wrong yes then what about others you will get poor permeability poor permeability is related to what yes guys poor permeability is related to the blow hole poor collapsibility mold erosion is it clear for everyone wonderful guys a is correct moving further guys okay junior bk very good so the fluidity of molten metal of cast alloys without any addition of fluxes increases with increase in freezing range viscosity degree of superheat or surface tension what will be the answer for this fluidity increases with what fluidity increases with what it is very much obvious if viscosity will increase fluidity reduce freezing range increase fluidity reduce surface tension increase it will reduce only degree of superheat more heat you will give more fluidity will be there next question this is a numerical again guys this is a numerical again the figure shows a pouring arrangement for casting of a metal block frictional losses are negligible acceleration due to gravity is this the time round off to fill the mold cavity okay this is the volume is given time required so my dear you need to find out the time required to fill the cavity very easy question it is i feel so it is very very easy question so if you remember time required to fill the cavity by top gating system is volume of casting area of in gate into velocity of in gate velocity of in gate is square root of 2g into height of molten metal height of molten metal is 20 cm okay so you just need to put the values get the answer time required to fill the cavity by top gating system everything is given to you okay guys so just solve this question and after this we have how many more questions from casting we are having 1 2 3 3 three more questions so three more question after that our two day session will be finish then tomorrow we will talk about metal forming metal cutting okay solve it very easy question everything is given to you just you need to calculate so you will have here 40 cross 30 cross 15 then here ag pi by 4 2 cm ka square 
टू दैट इज ए मीटर पर सेकेंड दैट ऑल्सो शुड बी कन्वर्टेड टू सेंटीमीटर नाइन एट्टी वन इन टू ट्वेंटी यू विल गेट द आंसर द आंसर विल बी कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस एस ट्वेंटी एट पॉइंट नाइन टू फोर सेकेंड एवरीथिंग इज इन सेंटीमीटर ओनली This is centimeter cube, centimeter square. Here you will get centimeter per second. We know one forty two is not correct. Twenty eight point nine two four will be the answer. Okay, is it clear? This is very easy question. I feel so. You have not done some conversion. Here you have you converted it into centimeters. Yes, engineer B K, you are correct. Fine, fine, fine. So guys, we have three more questions. Okay, then we will complete the two day session. Three more questions. Question is. A mould cavity of twelve hundred centimeter cube volume has to be filled through a sprue of ten centimeter length. Feeding a horizontal runner cross section area of the base of the sprue is this. Consider acceleration is this. Neglecting frictional losses. The time required to fill the cavity. Once again, you have the same similar question with the same data is also almost same. Once again, you will say time required to fill the cavity is volume of casting. Divided by area of ingot into root two g h m. Volume of casting is twelve hundred directly given. Then you have area is two centimeter square. Here two into nine eighty one. Height of sprue will be considered. So you need to find out this. Very easy question. So till now, what we have seen are the similar type of question. So guys, Abhinav sir is also there in the comment section to motivate you all. Make the heart sign for sir. Sir is always coming to motivate the student in the every session like that. So this is wonderful thing for you that every time faculties are always. Coming to push you so that you do well. Yes, guys. Solve it, solve it, solve it. Great. Okay, four. You are saying answer is four. Four point two eight second is correct. Four point two eight second is correct. Four point two eight seconds is correct. They have said round off to two decimal places. Engineer BK, you have made some mistake. Vinod's answer is correct. Next question is true centrifugal casting. True centrifugal casting. True centrifugal casting operation needs to be performed horizontally to make a copper tube section with outer diameter of two fifty mm. Two fifty mm. And inner diameter of two thirty mm. The value of acceleration due to gravity is ten meter per second square. G factor, the ratio of force to the weight, sixty, and rotational speed. You need to find out. You need to understand when we are having the centrifugal casting. This is rotating with some speed of n. 
सो ऑब्वियसली सेंट्री फ्यूगल फोर्सेज आर एक्टिंग और यू कैन से सेंट्री पीटल और सेंट्री फ्यूगल डिपेंडिंग ऑन द टाइप ऑफ एनालिसिस सेंट्री फ्यूगल और सेंट्री पीटल फोर्स इज गिवन एज एम इन टू ए सी सो यू नो दैट वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ए सी ए सी इज द एक्सलेशन विच इज गिवन एज ओमेगा स्क्वेर आर ओके ओमेगा स्क्वेर आर एंड वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वेट वेट इज एम जी सो वेन यू विल बी टेकिंग दिस रेशियो फोर्स इज एम ओमेगा स्क्वेर आर दिस इज एम जी एम एम विल गेट कैंसिल आउट okay so you will be getting the g factor from the g factor g factor is nothing but omega square r divided by g this is g factor from that i feel the things others are given you need to consider r as r outer for the safer design for the safer design we need to take outer diameter okay because this is the force required so this is the speed required so my dear if you want to fill the cavity till the outer diameter for that you need to make apply the force according to outer diameter so solve it and get the answer and do like and share the session guys when this question came if you remember we were the only one who have done this question 3 days before that this type of question can be a new type in the gate examination proofs are still available okay so just 3 days before i have taken super 20 series where i have done 20 questions from that 3 questions were very much similar as it is those were new types of question others were also same because others were the old types so for old type everybody was doing so i am not saying credit for that but for three new type of question which came they were as it is from the session so that's why these youtube session can help you a lot guys don't miss them what is the answer for this question guys you will be getting r not value you need to find out r not value actually okay g is given to us speed is required sorry r not is known to us speed is required so r not is 125 you need to find out the speed speed is required in rpm so whatever you get in omega then you need to write 2 pi n by 16 slightly lengthy question it was it was asked in gate 2021 everybody yes engineer bk vinod very good the answer for this is 660 rpm because g they have mentioned as 10 meter per second square okay very good very good engineer bk answer is very much near this is the last question for today's session today we have completed three big chapters casting welding and material size a cast product of a particular material these are the dimensions the total solidification time for the cast product is found to be 2 minutes having if under the identical casting condition the cast product shape is changed to a cylinder having diameter of this and this the total solidification time will be this is once again chivori now slow so you would be assuming once it to be a cubical casting then it to be cylindrical so t of cylindrical by t of cubical that you need to do it will be k into volume by surface area of cylinder ka square divided by k into 
v by surface area cube का स्क्वायर k k will get cancel out you are having the volume seventy five into one twenty five into twenty divided by okay this is the cylinder ना no? so why we are writing this cylinder is pi by four d square h volume बटे surface area two into pi by four d square plus pi d h divided by 75 into 125 into 20 2 into solve it solve it guys the last question for today's session Yes, engineer BK Vinod answer for this will be coming out to me, guys. Two point eight two minutes. Please solve it. Is it clear? Everybody. Okay, so guys, answer will be two point eight two minutes. So today we have completed casting, welding, material size. For twenty twenty three questions already, recording is available in the video section of this chapter. Where twenty twenty three complete paper video solutions are available. So that's why 2023 questions we are not solving. Is it clear? So goodbye guys for this particular session. Thanks for joining. And do attend these sessions to get benefited. Goodbye. See you again. Tomorrow for the second part. In second part we will discuss metal forming, metal cutting, metallurgy and computer integrated manufacturing. Okay guys.